Hi, my name is Nesta Kalaka, I'm a ceramic artist, and in this video I'm going to show you how to sculpt and shape the details out of clay, like feet, eyes, legs and arms. I will start from the eyes. What you need to do, you need to have a piece of clay, like this. You have to roll a ball out of it. Do not worry if it's not perfectly symmetrical, it's fine. We just roll out the ball. And now I will cut it just right in the center, symmetrically. So I have two eyes. With this tool, I will just get rid of the clay inside this half sphere, so my finger can reach the wall from the outside, like this. And now the second eye. So as you see, I'm adjusting them simultaneously. It's much better to do it this way. What you need to do next? Just imagine that those are the eyes of the chameleon or of a toad, and uh, this toad is actually sleeping. So you need to draw the line imitating the closed eyelids, so it's still sleeping. And now I'm starting to gently open it. It's like our toad is waking up. So I'm just gently open the eyelids and uh, reveal the eyeball in there. And now just put this extra layer inside just to make this wall stronger, just for this purpose. Now I will keep shaping the eye with the spatula, which is my favorite tool, and it's really super handy for the eyes. So we just keep shaping the eye, revealing this eyeball inside it. So I just keep shaping the eyeball together with the eyelids using the spatula. With the help of the wooden tool, you can create even more realistic look, so just add a bit of the wrinkles. Also, if you see that your clay started to crack a bit on the edges, no worries, you can get rid of it with a brush. So just smooth it a bit with a brush, like this. You can make a pupil in the center. I will start from the design of the hand of a toad. I will not need actually that much, maybe just this part. I make this small sausage. And now I will start to make the fingers. So actually, as you see, I make the same coils, but more in the carrot shape. So the fingers are actually the small cones. Yeah, and now I will start to attach them to the palm. This is the, a universal tip for all the details that we are going to join with each other. I mean, if you have to add the fingers, you have to score the parts to which you are going to attach these fingers. And also you need to score the fingers on the part that will be attached to the main base. So I score each of them. I join them all together. And now I'm attaching them to the ball, like this. Also, this nice rule that you have to blend the details to that extent that it's not visible anymore that it has any seam. So you need to have this feeling that they grow out of this palm, so you didn't see the line of the attachment. And once again, you can just blend it even more with a brush and water. This is the hand number one. So we are done with the hands. Now I will show you how we'll make the feet of the toad. I just make this comb. I flatten it a bit. I make it more flat like this way. And now I just indicate the fingers. I mark the fingers with the rib. And now we use this spatula that we use for shaping the eyes. I just try to round the angles so these fingers they look more natural. 
So this will make the feet. We have the hand and we have the feet. And uh, now I will show you how to make some other designs for different animals. For example, now I will show you how to make the feet for a hippo. Once again, I indicated the fingers with the grip. Now I'm starting to round them, to shape them with the spatula. And maybe I even want to add some nice nails. So yeah, it's done. Let's start from the comb, then I flatten it a bit. So I'm making some sort of clothes. They can be sharp. I hope you enjoyed these little exercises. If you want to learn more, please check out my Domestica course and you will find the link in the description.